drink as well. We also had the same dinner. And at Me Vision Hall and Suwon Pyeonsan are the venues that uh, will have this evening session. Please be seated. Please make sure you are seated, not standing up. So we will have the live scenario presentation and talk show with our chairman Park Han Gil. So these are all about our dreams and visions and some tips about your business. I hope uh, and I firmly believe that the evening session is very, very important and very fruitful for many, infor informative for many people, which means you are selected. I hope uh, everyone in this room can be focused on the evening session. So let's get started. I can see some of you are not seated. Please be seated. We will start the second part. Here we are in Atomy Orat Vision Hall. So let us start the second part of Success Academy. You should write down your life scenario, which can drive you crazy. Picture the dream in your mind, and if you move forward, and if you don't stop, then the dream will come true. But many people, they don't want to be told that they are crazy. But if you are told that you are crazy, that is a good thing, and you should be courageous enough to be told that you are crazy and with that passion in your mind your face your voice your attitude everything will change and that's when you can change everyone around you that that is the law of success dream vividly and dreams will come true this is the presentation time for Life Scenario, and we are joined by our global Atomians. We will first invite Shower's Master Kim Hye-yan, who, uh, who is doing her business in China. Please give her a big hand. Hello, everyone. Hello everyone, I am Sharon's Master Kim Hye-yan. My dream is to become the business missionary. I was born in an ordinary family in China. My childhood dream was to travel around the world and live in a palace-like mansion. As a college student, I got a dream to become the business missionary. So in my late 20s, I visited Korea for my overseas visionary, visionary work. And it's been 10 years since I came here. I heard about Atomy four years ago from the lady who was taking care of my nephews in China. She's more than, she's 60 years old, but she still get income which surprised me. And that's uh, in 2020 when Atomy China opened the office in China. So I got interested. I did my research and there were some new words like unlimited levels, unlimited accumulation and global one marketing. Of course, I didn't understand 100%, but I uh, became very confident that this is where I can realize my dream. So I have been doing my business, go, going back and forth between China and Korea. Let me present my life scenario. First of all, contribution. For the last several years, I've been supporting one missionary family and one compassion child. And by December 2024, I will 
support one more missionary family and one more child and twice the numbers whenever I get a new mentorship. By August 2028, I will do even more missionary work and I will take 20% of my income to support them. The next one is traveling. By December 2024, I will go travel Jeju Island as my da two daughters really want to uh, take on the, take the plane. And uh, lastly, uh, for parents, my parents have been working really, really hard to support the two daughters. And I am giving uh, my mom a very small amount of money, but starting from May 2025, I want to give her $1K dollars every month. And by December 2026, after becoming the royal, royal master, I will give $2K dollars every month for, the, for them. And by November 2028, I want to buy a house for my mom near to her church. And I met Atomi during the COVID-19 pandemic. The only tool where you, I, I could get information was online videos. But I saw the vision and I became very confident. Dream vividly and your dreams will come true. Aja, aja, aja. Thank you, everyone. Next stop, let us invite Sales Master Ice Clue from Turkey. Hello, everyone. Good to see you. That is the old Korean that I can speak. So I will speak in Turkish. I am Isa Klu from Turkey, Istanbul, Turkey. I am 24 years old and I am a sales master right now. I'm glad to present my life scenario here before everyone. I worked as a nurse uh, for three years. I always uh, want to support and help people rather than pursuing money. And what I want is to have free time as I want. And I read a lot of uh, books written by successful people, but I couldn't find the answer. I couldn't, uh, I was not satisfied with my life. And I got to know Atomy Vision from my Korean sponsor. And that's when I uh, learned, where, where I learned the philosophy of Chairman Park and Gil. It was a good big luck for me. I quit my job and started the full-time Atomy business. Atomy business is something very interesting. And I don't really feel it is a work. It's uh, what everyone dreams of, right? And... I got a dream that I can become the master of my life and I wrote my life scenario. The goal is very clear and I will reach those goals in a, with a happy mind. Of course, my life scenario will not stop here. Uh, of course, I have more plans than my dreams. and But first, uh, homes. My home my contract will be will end very soon uh, by the end of next year so i want to move to the center of istanbul and by 2026 i want to buy a beautiful house at the center of korea uh, so that i can welcome my partners who are visiting Korea, providing them uh, accommodation. By 2028, I want to buy a triplex house for my family members where they can uh, 
take a rest. And by 2028, I want to buy a very luxury house in Istanbul, near a beach. So you might think that I uh, I want to buy a lot of houses, but this is not just a simple goal, because the houses houses are very important for me because it they give me a lot of insights with uh, those big places. Next up. Uh, it's time for me to realize everything, to become very successful. And my goal is to become a global leader. I want to grow together with my partners. And seeing them becoming successful would be a great motivation for me. Of course, some partners uh, can be older than me and because I am still very young, but I will work even harder. And my goal for next month is to become the master. And next year, I will become the auto sales master. By 2026, I will join the leaders club. Thank you. Turkey has a total of 81 states. And by 2028, I will have at least one center for 81 states. And I will become the Imperial Master by 2030. Thank you. I will work hard to support my partners so that they can realize their dreams. And as a good leader, I will support their dreams as well. I will encourage them to keep working and keep going. And I will provide uh, the best support as much support as I can for each stage for each stage. And through Atomy, you can become successful together, not alone. And you can also live a balanced life. You can provide a lot of insights for many people. And my dream, my goal is also to remove some prejudices that some people have about network marketing. So I will show them the special part, special, what's special for Atomy. Uh, and I will keep working very, very hard. What breaks through the stone is not the power of the water, but its continuity. So I will meet you again on this stage when I become the Imperial Master. Thank you. Persistence and consistency are the keys to success. Aja, aja, aja. Thank you. Thank you very much for your courage and for your presentation as well. So this is the last part for day one. If you wonder if you can become successful, and if you want to know uh, how to become successful, then stay tuned. We will invite Chairman Park kang for the success talk show. Hello, everyone. 
I am Crown Master Kang Jung Woo. Uh, I am the MC for the talk show. Please welcome Chairman Park Han Gil. And we also have Imperial Master Park Jong Soo. And we are also joined by Crown Master Choi Gil Jong. Are you looking forward to the talk show? I'm also looking forward to the talk show. So here's the first question. Did you create the live scenario by yourself, Chairman Park Hang Gil? And why it's only one sheet? To, in order to become successful in anatomy, uh, you need to write the live scenario and it is also the key to Success Academy and I want to hear from you about the story of, of the one sheet of life scenario. Could you answer my question, Chairman? Actually, the one sheet life scenario, it took me 10 years to create it. Before starting at to me, I spent 10 years to experience network, network marketing 10 years. I uh, worked as the salary based CEO and I also reached the highest level in a network marketing company. And I also created an organization and I built an, an internet shopping mall for the entire network marketing companies. These are the things that I did for the 10 years. For 17 years, actually before doing that, I worked in the manufacturing sector, engineering plastic, uh, which is uh, used for the automotive components. So I believe I am the expert for the automotive industry. And I uh, also provided the lecture, the technology seminar in Hyundai Motors before those uh, people with doctor's degrees and master's degrees. Can I say I am the expert in technology? Of course, I didn't study the te technology at school. Germany, Japan, the US, all, they are all developed countries. And I uh, went there, when I visited those countries to learn their advanced technology. For example, Krupp Caltex, a German company, they have machines and Japan, Nippon, uh, there is also a Japanese company building and manufacturing machines and American standard as well. I didn't really understand machines. Do you know how I studied machines? For example, I visit the German company and I would say the Japanese company they say your machines have this and that problems. And then that's when they would say, no, the JSW, the Japanese uh, machines have all those bad things. And we have 
our advantages. So that's how I studied machines. And actually, those, all those machines are also produced in Korea, but that's uh, 32, 40 years ago. So there was no Korean company who can produce those machines. Only simple plastics were produced here in Korea. There was engineering plastic. Uh, was something that we could not produce by ourselves. So GE has the plastic business team and uh, a German company, Baspu ICI, those companies uh, have the, the plastic. So I did the performance test and I did my research and based on those knowledge, I uh, introduced a new technology to the automotive industry. Can, can you feel that I did a lot of research and a lot of work in the automotive industry, right? So I could not plan very well for the retirement plans. So I had to think about what I should do from now on, maybe advanced technologies, logistics, because the third industry and the third industry was logistics, and, but I've been in manufacturing for my entire career, so I could not see my future with them. So it was all blank and dark in front of me. 17 years at engineering school, I studied at night school, and I did all the techniques and I learned every technique. I started from scratch when it comes to engineering, but I was not sure if the if other people will buy my product. So I read 250 books. And then I decided I have to make other people successful. So I read the relevant books. For example, Meet Me at the Top, have you heard? Uh, see you at the top by Stephen Colby, I think, and the seven habits. I, th I think it, the 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 book bef the book earlier was an, by another author, and Stephen Colby wrote the seven habits of successful people. I think we have to read them, right? So, and Hiram Smith. The 10 natural laws of successful time and life management, right? So all these famous Carnegie School and other famous people who were very expensive lecturers. And even beyond those lecturers, these five scholars, information and knowledge and experience were collected by myself. And I did the lecture by myself. If you study the, the entire three months, you you will be very hungry and just study by just studying. So to prevent that, I did the lecture in a very short period of time. I can finish that every morning and every afternoon, a few hours each. And from after dinner, we write the scenario and make presentations. So I compress the three months of knowledge and training material into into a week and will uh, can they be successful by getting trained like that there's a problem it's too complicated it's really hard to follow and those who can follow them those who are able to do that they actually don't need training i train them really hard but it's too difficult it's too complicated to to follow them so the first thing is to write the the letter of mission what is the mission what is the calling so the four hours in the morning we i talk about mission what is mission it's not decided by myself it's by nature god decides the mission for me so, for example, I have my parents, right? And I have my mission as I might have, I have my duty as their son. And what should I do? What duties do I have to follow, fulfill? 
the failure duty is the duty. I'm a husband to my wife, then I have to love my wife. That's the duty. Make my wife happy. That is for sure. I have to do that. If I have children, I have to support them financially and guide them to have good moral, good morality. So each of the duties can be written by them, right, by the students, and as parents, as children, as wives, as husbands, or in the society, you have social positions as sponsor, as partner, what your sponsors do, and all these duties could be found. So it's not just to be successful I have to do. I, I have become a sponsor to become successful. It's not that. It's not like that. What kind of orders are we getting as a sponsor? So these were the presentations they made. So from today on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start doing the project as a program. And then I did that. There was some there were some issues. They're saying it's too complicated, I cannot do this. So in order to achieve these duties and missions, we need short terms, mid terms, long term goals, and among them we have monthly plans and weekly daily plans and among the daily plans we have heard from Stephen Colby. So what do, what do we have what do we have to do? and the important things, urgent things. It's urgent, but it's not an important thing. So we categorized all these duties. And some of the duties are not important and not urgent. So we wrote down all the lists. So what should we focus? What should we prioritize? So all the urgent and important duties, everyone fulfills this duty. If my child gets sick, Nobody would just ignore it, right? But some things are important but not urgent. For example, reading. We have to read to be successful, but it's not urgent. We have to serve neighbors. We have to do something to do that, but it's not urgent. So the priorities in our, li in our life things that are not urgent but important so we have to manage our time like that but most of the people focus on not urgent not important things watching soap operas not important not urgent and it's time consuming people are spending too much time on it and chit chatting with friends is it important Nobody would remember the chit chatting was what was about what the, the next day, right? And then we make a phone call to do chit chatting again. It's not important, not urgent. So we don't, we should not spend our time doing things that are not important, not, in, not urgent. Put first things first, right? So weekly, monthly, Carnegie and Stephen Corby, we can choose between the two depending on weekly or monthly. So we, so we did that. And then what was the problem? They cannot take action. Then it's no useful. So it's no use at all. It's their life. And it's, so the week of training was shortened to three days and two days and now we have 40 minute lecture you watch the video with the topic of life scenario writing right so with this one piece of paper it's just the 50 hours of lecturing is compressed into this paper the, the important thing is to have a clear vision. If we have a clear vision, then that vision will lead this person to become a successful person. So self-diagnosis and it's actually complicated details. 
but it's compressed into one piece of paper. It took 10 years to create this. The first edition of Success Academy, Choi Ki Jung, Park Jung Soo, next to me, they all attended the Success Academy, the first academy. And we had the same thing back then too. Less than 30 people gathered for two days to take part in the program, writing the life scenario. And another piece of paper was to think about promotion plans, income plans, and housing plans. Everything, every, all of these are in this book. And so we were writing the life scenario. I created this, but I think it's great. I think it's amazing. Why? Even an old lady that didn't even finish preschool can finish this. The life of contribution and serving. It's also in the 10 laws, the, the title 10 laws by the, author, the famous author. So it's all also in the book, all right? So if we want to live well physically, we need to make sure we are secure financially. Housing, for example, and all these were written down and it's not easy. It's not very difficult to write it down. And how can you take care of your family and our my education and the contribution to the society? Like that, we were able to build this life scenario as a piece of paper. Even old ladies can make this. And I'm saying it's amazing not because it's written so simply. We get this, we receive this paper and very high educated, highly educated people cannot finish, cannot complete this paper. Our crown master, Chu Jinan, he used to be very socially, very high position and he graduated from an elite school, right? But still, he received this paper and he heard the word balanced life for the first time in his life. So he looked back on his life. He went to this, went into the mountains, Songli Mountain, with tears in his eyes all night, thinking about what he should write down in life scenario. So it's that deep and profound. How about you, Park Chung Soo? Hi everyone, good evening, I am Park Chung Soo. I think I'm similar to Ju Jin Hwan, Master Ju Jin Hwan. I came, I first came into contact with these words and it was like panorama that the whole life that I lived, I lived a very diligent life. The only goal, the single goal is to become wealthy. I, I, I lived a life very diligently, but when I, I received this paper, I had nothing to write down on this paper. I felt very miserable. I couldn't write down anything when I first received this paper. And then, meanwhile, I had this question in my head. So I write this down and will things change really? Will something happen? Will something be realized really if I do this? Anyone that experienced the same thing as me? I think I didn't have so much confidence, but we had no choice. Now you're having a choice to, to write it or not write it. 
but back then when I was when I received the paper we went into the room and we had this time to write down the, the life scenario and and chairman was coming door to door knocking and guiding us to write this and that like guiding us how to write it down and what I felt then is that how we say and how we write down actually guides us in our real life if you if we do not do anything say anything or write anything down we don't actually achieve anything but if we do something if we say something write something down our body just automatically moves we can do something so i hope you can write down your life scenarios too chairman park read 250 books and he was able to guide us through the balanced life and i admire you chairman park the piece of paper was created throughout 10 years now how do you feel the paper feels so precious right how about you Jackie Jung hi I'm Jackie Jung nice to meet you all after I met chairman Park my life changed I did seven businesses and I failed every business and I was able to listen to his my the chairman's lecture and it was so impressive I was so impressed and I have to change my job and take on new challenges and I was engaging in cosmetics business before Atomy maybe you've heard of jewelry cosmetics maybe you're similar age with me if you know the brand and chairman was introducing the cosmetics product and he was so good at presenting it and I had skin problems and no medicine could cure my eczema so I was so surprised when chairman made a speech about this product and all of you here most of you here must feel the same thing so have you heard about the study of success no one right I think a few only a few Chairman is saying that there is a study of success and every 250 books book was all saying all talking about this study of success so how can all the details in 250 books be collected and be compressed into this research so i was thinking i should have met i should have done it more quickly i should have known it early earlier it would have changed my life i i thought so when i was first writing down my life scenario I was writing down only a few things repaying my loans my one of my dreams was to build my own house and I I failed I, I told you I failed um, multiple businesses so I lost my grand grandpa's land the land that my grandpa owned so I wanted to do some amends for that too, make amends for that too 
So I think it was, Chairman was talking about finishing the lectures late. And I was next to Chairman. He was knocking door to every door to guide students, guide people to write down life scenarios. And it was until, it was all until 2 a.m. in the morning. Most people would be taking a rest. And Chairman would, could have just slept in his own room, but he was knocking every door to tell people that they have to complete life scenarios properly. I think that made us the leaders now. You're so amazing, Chairman. The research, the outcomes of life scenarios are being shared and they are the proofs, the living proofs, I think. So through life scenario, we are seeing a lot of results. Are you satisfied? Are you happy with the leader's success? At the beginning of the business, education, it was really strong compared to now. I think these days, successful economy is not as strict as before. At first, it was about 20 people. So the company motto, you should be memorizing this very thoroughly. And the management strategies and ideology, everything has to be memorized very thoroughly, right? And the, and Grand Master Choi Jung Su's mother, she was, she was old. It's, it's her, right? She always wears red shirt. Even back then, we didn't let him come to the stage, walk to the stage. We made people run to the stage. Very strict. And his mother was older than other people. So her performance to memorize company motto was rejected, did not pass multiple times. So because of this stammering, she had to go to the hospital because she shouted too many times. So what? like that. So the early members were asking multiple times why I was so strict like that. Park Jong Su, Che Ki Jong. They were they were just sales masters or less. They're just they were just members. And those members were educated so strictly like that because they, to me, they look like a future prospective imperial masters. Leader, the leaders of tens of thousands of contractors. If, we, if I'm not strict enough to them, the, all these life scenarios and all these passions will just go away, will just scatter away, I feared. That's why every night it ended after midnight. Even tonight, how about that? Let's continue after midnight, how about that? So it was only natural that my lecture finished after midnight. So it was about 1 a.m., 2 a.m. And then that, that was when we started writing down life scenarios, connecting the dots and how about the size of your house. You didn't write it down and you cannot write down five years, three years, because you will say three years after three years too. So you have to specify 
the date, the exact date, and the exact size of your house. And how about the money? You have to specify all these numbers. You can just write them down and then research later, okay? I told them. And by doing that, just like Choi Ki Jung told us, we were having lectures after midnight. I was, I showered in, in my own sweat. And back when I was giving lectures then, I only got, I only got about $10. How about meals? It was a, condo, a condominium accommodation. So I just got the cost for accommodation. And then you have to cook your own meals. Imperial Master Park Jung Su can cook, so she can cook many things. And how about Shim Jae Gap in Ulsan? He was only cooking his own, own instant noodles. He was having instant noodles every night. And then he would go to Park Jung Soo's team to get some pork belly meat. So it was one of the episodes, right? So back then, I think it's Imperial Master Kim Gyeong Suk. No, it's Kim Gwang Yer's wife, right? So she came to meet me. So I told her to come see me there. And later she said to me, Chairman invited me, and then Chairman asked me to pay ten dollars so she was flustered so she could have told me and i could have paid for her she couldn't pay that ten dollars so she was very embarrassed it was an embarrassing situation for her she later told me so her husband was working on site in construction sites maybe that was why she didn't she was not financially stable so every room i was knocking the door and when i was stepping up the the stairs i had to hold on to the banister to go upstairs i think checky john i think you were you were just a, a member, right? He was supporting me. He was supporting my hips so that I could go upstairs. And then I go to the next door, next door, next door. That's how I did this guiding for writing down life scenarios. Yeah, it's a memory. So chairman was knocking door to door and this I think was very helpful for establishing the atomic culture. As chairman did that, we were supposed to write down the life scenarios. It's like our homework. And thinking that chairman might knock our door, we were not able to drink alcohol in the room. Of course, drinking alcohol is not desirable in those, in, under such circumstances. But I think Atomy's healthy culture now has been built up since then when Chairman was guiding us to write down the life scenarios. One person said to me that when we were having a seminar, Atomy members even when there are 2,000 Atomians coming together, they are very, they're not shouting, they're very quiet and calm because they have homework. I love this Atomic culture. We don't have drinking alcohol culture. For the success, 
we are getting trained, we take lectures, and at night with sponsors and partners, we write down our life scenarios. We the if the future that we envision. And I think it's really good for our ethnic culture too. Our leaders should be doing the same thing as what chairman did for us, but we are not doing as well as chairman did. So I feel very sorry in a way. So ethnic culture was established like this and life scenario system is now very stabilized, right? So the first imperial master Park Jong Su. So have you realized the future that you have Im you envisioned back then? Yeah, people realize the things that we envision. I think that's true. Back then, when I was writing down my life scenario, I was living in a small room with my kids. So housing was very important to me. And in the city of Iksan, there was a, an apartment house for rich people. If I were to live in that apartment house, it could be a luxurious life. It seemed to me it's really luxurious um, life. So I wanted to live there. That's why I wrote down that apartment house and I showed the apartment house to my kids saying that I'm gonna move to this house. Kids, see, okay? And the apartment that I was living in back then, it was not really dissatisfying. But still, I wanted to live in a bigger apartment house. I wanted to be in, be living in a better apartment house. And it really happened. I just followed that in the dream that I envisioned. And one more thing, which was very important for me, is education. I really wanted my uh, kids to be fluent in English. So I want to send them to overseas countries, but I couldn't afford that. But after writing down my dreams to send my kids to overseas countries, I actually realized that I first started from the duck soup restaurant and that's where I built the first center in Iksan. And I have the partners who would invite their uh, potential leaders and customers to the restaurant. But I didn't really, uh, it was not, I was not very happy to see them coming to the very poor restaurant. So I really, so my dream at the time was to build a great center. And this is the center that I have in Nixon. And this is something that many people come to see. This is the Nixon center. We are joined by many people, just like a tour. Uh, we, sometimes we have hundreds of Atomians from overseas countries. And I have a lot of Atomians who want to take a look at my centers. Uh, chairman said that Imperial Master Park Jong Suk wrote down the new history in the network marketing. That is uh, because many people became successful in network marketing. After becoming successful, they uh, build some uh, buildings for themselves, but. Uh, only few people build such buildings that I built for uh, partners. And I am the first one who did that. That's what uh, Chairman Park said. So this building is for my partners and for Atomians. Don't even wonder if you can realize the dreams that you wrote down in your life scenario. Just write them down and after writing them down you are you will naturally take actions that's what i did thank you 
the Ixan Center uh, is a very most visited place for Atomians. Just like a pilgrimage. And one of my partners said that I also want to build such a center like Imperial Master Park Jong Suk did. And uh, she wrote that down in her life scenario. So you can take time to visit the center and we can have a coffee break together. So, have you heard of the theory that can pull everything? We have three components in our body, the body itself, and of the flesh, spirit, and soul. So actually, we have the flesh, uh, but there are a lot of activities done by spirit, our spirit and soul, and the spirit and soul have really great power that can make what you think a reality. That's what many people in the success theory says. And here we have a lot of living proofs. The mansion, the villa, uh, actually he bought a land and uh, he has a very, he has a story about the land and uh, right next to the land, there was a cattle shed. Uh, it smells bad, but the shed disappeared after a fire broke out. And later it turned out that the shed was uh, built in an illegal way. So after the fire, the shot uh, couldn't be built again. And actually, he bought the land at a very low price. I spent only 400K dollars for 2,400 square meters because of the cattle shed next to it, but later on the shed disappeared because of the fire. So this is also the very good story that demonstrates this power of spirit and soul. And everything that you think in your mind can change into a reality. Whatever you think in your mind is something that can become a reality. If you think of uh, something that it cannot be realized, then that means you have a mental disease. For example, a 60-year-old lady, if she says she wants to become a general, then that is not very realistic, right? Uh, that is also illegal. So what we think in our mind is something very realistic. If you can imagine your mind something, then that is something that you can actually realize. So don't even uh, give up. The guy who want to buy a Porsche, just write them down. And that would encourage you to go up. For example, when did you wrote write down, write it down, when he went bankrupt. And I remember Pearl Master Park Jong Suk, she was a field um, owner of a restaurant. Actually, at the time, I was, I didn't really fail. No, okay. So here we have the field beggars right here and unfailed beggars. So he didn't fail, but he didn't have money. 
even in those situations, he came to the Success Academy and wrote down the life scenario to build a White House. And now he actually did it. And he also bought the land at a very, very low price because of the cattle shed, but because it smells bad. But later on, the shed disappeared. This is uh, miraculous. And these miraculous things can also happen to you. When I met them for the first time, I didn't have anything. I just speak well. And what I told them, uh, everything that I told them became a reality. I said, I will give you one million dollars with a forklift. And I said, I will guarantee that you can uh, enjoy the business class. And I also said, Atomy will go global. And everything I, that I said at the time became a reality. So write everything in your mind down on the life scenario sheet. And in order to increase the possibility, you can announce your dream to everyone how to do that. First of all, you should announce your dreams to your family members. So you should uh, put the notes everywhere in your house, put the memos everywhere in your house saying that I want to buy, I want to earn $100K every month and tell your husband you did a good, great job. You did really hard work for a long period of time and I will support you for your later life. And very soon you will, you don't have to work. You can go travel, but please wait for five years. You should make that announcement to your children as well. Tell your dreams to everyone and you can also announce your dreams to many other people saying that you will become an imperial master. And that way you will find some people who want to join you and you will be able to reach your dreams, reach your goals faster at a faster pace than you uh, even imagined. That is why many people say you should write down your dreams and announce your dreams, then you will be able to realize your dreams. So write it down and announce them to many people. You might feel anxious. What if I cannot do it? Actually, uh, she is very picky. Of course, she's uh, beautiful, but she's picky. And I said at the time, on in the early days, I said, I will go global. And after saying those things to them, I uh, was really concerned. I became very anxious because she can blame me. She could blame me, right? But still, I try to be courageous to announce my dreams repeatedly. I had to become very courageous to say that. And before starting Atomy, uh, for 10 years, I said, I spent 10 years in the, the multi-level industry and uh, I spent 10 years to master success theory and I failed after starting the online uh, market and I had to move to a small room and do you know what I thought? It's a uh, best timing to test the success theory. So I failed living in a very small room and I am the only person who can deliver the success theory lecture. 
I am the master of success theory. And if I fail, and if I fail to overcome this crisis, based on what I learned for the success theory, then that means the theory doesn't work. If, but if I uh, successfully overcome the difficulties, then that means the theory works very well. At the time, I suffered from liver hardening, and I had a friend who is a doctor. Uh, I had a friend who is a doctor, and he said he cannot uh, cure my disease. And he said I will live only about one year or three months. And he said I I have to go to a bigger hospital. And he said the big hospitals would tell you to do the liver transplantation, and which would uh, cost you about 100K dollars. And uh, the special hospital will ask you to pay uh, 100K dollars, but if you don't have that much money, then you can visit another a smaller hospital. And at that time, I collapsed because of the kidney hardening. And despite all the difficulties, I became rich and I became healthy. In all the days, my leaders was very concerned about my health, but these days, I see some of the Imperials uh, passing away, uh, for example, Mr. Park. And we have two of them here right now, still here. Your husband did all the things for you, for your little life. And his daughter, at the time, the daughter uh, she was very young. The daughter was very young, and actually, he uh, has he was diagnosed with uh, cancer, and he was paid by the insurance company for the diagnosis. But still, he spent the ten years uh, with a very healthy body to become successful in atomy. Uh, she actually. She was not really concerned about her husband, and she was really concerned about her daughter. Of course, uh, mothers take uh, care more about their uh, daughters. And she spent 10 years uh, for her husband and for her daughter as well. And Imperial Master Park Dong Chol, he tried to spread, and, uh, spread the gospel. Uh, visiting Canada and many other countries before passing away. So what I was talking about, what was I talking about? So that's the end of my story. Thank you. Thank you very much for your answer. Let's move on to the next question. So in our company motto, the company motto says, uh, create the vision, follow the faith, right? So they are related to a life scenario. So I want to ask you the connection between the company model and life scenario. We have our company model. We also have our vision management goals. Many people ask uh, questions regarding uh, those uh, the company motto and the vision. Some people ask me if I um, set them before starting the Success Academy, before starting the Atomy. So when we have only 20 people, we shout out 
uh, the, the company model. So I created the company model uh, for the very first day. They are all connected. For example, cherish the spirit. People should not become the tool. Everyone should become the very purpose. And human beings are created just like the God. And according to the Bible, the God created human beings based on him himself. So we uh, didn't come from monkeys. We are created by the God. And because of our sins, because of our sins, we are between the God and also animals. But we are having an even bigger gaps uh, between us and the God. It's a relief that I have uh, two daughters-in-law for my two sons. So we see a lot more scenes that human beings are creating. Uh, I'm talking about the homosexuality. It makes you uh, go even farther from the God. It is a scene. The syphilis came from sheep. In the past, the Mongols would take horses and sheep, and they uh, had intercourse, had an intercourse with sheep, and that's how human beings got the syphilis. And I believe homosexuality is the same thing with this story. I don't really believe in homosexuality. Some people say homosexuality is something they uh, was uh, they are they are born with, but I don't believe in it. And this is something that human beings should not do, as you can see from the story of syphilis and we are human beings are different from animals because we have the sense of shame those animals don't really feel any sense of shame uh, for example i have tan horses and they look cool but they don't have the sense of shame mm. And because they don't have the sense of shame, they have the intercourse when everyone sees them. So animals and humans are different. We human beings used to be uh, same with the God, but as we are having more and more scenes, we are getting closer to animals and we are uh, moving far away from the God. So you should be take special care of this. We have a lot of issues in our society. Uh, 
I'm not really sure why I am talking this. So please forget the homosexuality. Please come closer to the God. Human beings used to be at the same level with the God. And God's intention is to help us go back to that level. That is why He wants to see us as His Son. And He wants to share His life with us. So you should be aware of this. Without understanding it, you will never find any meaning in your life. If you don't understand the God, you will never understand yourself. I used to read a lot of books, but recently I don't, I feel fatigue uh, with my eyes, and I don't really read new books. I used, and I recently read uh, those books that I used to, that I read before. Damien. So I am reading them again. So uh, they have a lot of interesting stories, but I mostly, uh, but I almost forgot the story. So I started reading them again. I uh, started reading a big volume book regarding Christian, and I kind of regretted that I didn't uh, read those books recently. And the book says, "The book says, human if human beings don't understand the God, then they will never understand themselves." And many people ask, "Why?" They are living, and the answer lies in the Bible. So I uh, thought I need to read uh, all of the books, uh, and it has the large volumes. So I want to read them all. After all, we say we cherish the spirit. Because human beings should not become the tool. In any case, we don't think ourselves, or I don't think uh, my partners, the, or the leaders, as the tool to earn money. That is how we cherish the spirit. But we have a clear mind about the future direction by cherishing the spirit. Making sure every human being is the purpose itself, not the tool to earn money. The first goal for Atomy is the success of our customers. You, every Atomians, are our customers. So after of the first day, Atomy has worked really, really, really hard to support your success, and I'm still doing that. I'm still making that effort to make you successful. So the company motto, management goals, all of them are connected. And we have uh, the create vision. This is about writing, writing down the life scenario. And after writing down life scenario, You can bring them into your reality, and you should follow the faith to realize the dreams. Actually, the faith is nothing about uh, the visible things. The faith is something about invisible, invisible things. Think about heaven. The heaven is invisible. 
So you should have a faith to become an imperial master. By creating the vision, you can follow the faith. You can follow the faith to become an imperial master. And you should live an imperial master life right now. So your voice, your eyes, and your attitude, everything from you should become the one uh, from an imperial master. And that way, many people will follow you. So that is why you should follow the faith. And the faith is to believe that you are already an imperial master right now. We, our goal is to have a balanced life. In order to realize the dream, we are realizing the tool of balanced life. And to realize the dream, we need to serve in humility. So when I create the company motto, I uh, already had the story and the management direction, the management uh, goals are all connected to each other. It's not something that I mimicked uh, some phrases. So they are all connected. To achieve the life scenario, we have to be determined and continue to take on challenges, I think. So the final question of today, we sometimes are confused between taking on challenge and betting. So maybe we can ask this question to chairman first, between betting and taking on challenge. Betting and taking on challenge. It sounds similar, so it's confusing. We have to take on challenge. So we do the betting and we do, we take, take, on, take on challenge. So what kind of challenge are we taking on? So the challenge this time that we're taking on is if it's the goal is to get the rewards this time handsomely. That's betting. If your goal is to make sure your partners get rewards properly and handsomely, if that's the goal, it's taking on challenge. I can define it like that. How about you, Choi Kyu Jang? I think I can make it simpler. So to customers, I sell products, I provide products and they use them, they buy them again. I think that's taking on challenge. And we buy the products and just keep them in the household. Maybe to, for future use, but maybe it's too many for future use. If they're just, in, they're just stocked and kept in house, that's betting. There used to be a lot of those who did the betting, they get rewards and then they were just keeping products and they just returned the product, products later on. So if there, there are stocks of products that don't end up in the hands of customers, maybe many of them are ending up online or they're being sold online, that's betting, I think. How about you, Park Jong-su? I think in the previous talk show, I talked about betting and taking a challenge. Betting. By betting, if I do it, it's investment. If I force my partner to do it, it's betting. So before we define them, I want to ask you, do you not take on challenge because you're you're in fear of betting? So until my current position of Imperial Master, I met a lot of people, all right? And which line was more successful? The line that took on a lot of challenges? Yes, of course, but if 
there is excessive number of challenge that they were taking on, sometimes they fall apart. Like chairman said, if it's taking on challenge for the sake of your partners, or if it's just for myself, I think that's the big difference between the two. If a sponsor continuously induces mastership and forces them to go on, and some lines are like that, they get promoted, they get mastership every time, and partners are partners lose passion over time. So that organization fell apart. So you, you don't have to hurry for Atomy business. Slow down. That's how you can be successful. Some sponsors do that. Some sponsors say that to the members. They were just slowing down, slowing down, and then they ended up falling apart too. So not just about betting and taking on challenge. We have to keep on moving. We have to continue taking on challenge. Our body moves just as we write down. So some of you have already reached mastership. And when we do that, our body is so moving so busily. They're saying to me, wow, 24 hours is too short. Every day I'm running. But some people don't plan anything, have no goal, no, ch no, there's, there's no moving and slowing down over time. And then they ended up falling apart. So these days I'm thinking the best solution is to help your partners to take on challenge. That's the best way to work and rooting for each other while we take on challenge. But then as a sponsor, who should I support? What partner should I support? That depends on the assumption that I take a look at how they're doing. Who is really sincerely focused on Atomy business? Who is crazy about Atomy business? So I tend to take a look at all the partners. That's my habit. In the beginning of my business, partners are asking me for money. And some partners are asking me for money, saying that they're going to bring great partners to me. And then one day, chairman said, said, if a partner asks you for money, just kick them away. They're not going to be successful. They don't, they will not work. And really, there could be some partners who are struggling who are not even brave enough to ask for help. So that is when I started to see, actually see who is struggling, struggling with money, who is passionate but has difficulties. And Chairman also said there's one place to invest in, and it was invest in invitement to seminars. It's beneficial for everyone. Inviting this, in, inviting people to seminar and supporting them financially, it's not just giving them money. If I'm, if I have enough money to support them, to invite, to support them to come attend the, the Success Academy or seminars, we can invest money. If you have to invest money, maybe inviting people to seminars is one. So I don't spare money and invest, um, invest sufficient amount of money in inviting people to seminars. So look for partners who are struggling and passionate and make goals with the partner and work with them 
and it will grow your organization faster and it will be more joyful for you to work as an organization if it's worth investment you think that partner i think is worth the money do that let's not just continuously talk about what is betting what is taking on challenge just do your job do your business that's my advice how we sh we can do atomy business now maybe you got the feels got the sense of it this ends the success talk hold on hold on it's not even midnight yet it's just past 9 p.m i'm going to finish in three hours so just hold on MCs, yeah, you can just take a rest there. Come later in three hours. So the word, the term betting, it's problematic because money is being exchanged. For example, if you look at the organization or structure, let's say going imperial, maintaining crown and maintaining imperial, yeah, it pays more, right? Sometimes it could be $20,000 $20, more. But some people are struggling because they're lacking money amounting to about $500. We have to support them in that case. Maybe Imperial Masters wouldn't, be, wouldn't think too much about it, but and just support them but you will get this money if you fill the sale fill fill the sales fill the revenue then you get the money and this kind of thing that is why leaders are being blamed some leaders are being blamed don't do anything that can embarrass you being crown master crown master imperial master you should be proud of that feeling your revenue by asking partners to do that it's embarrassing you just do it without them knowing okay if you're in imperial master if you're a crown master i i just wanted to root for you that's why i filled up filled up the money you can say that you don't have to be so calculative to fill out the fill the money up right that is why people are arguing with each other. So let's not be those people. So we should follow the principles. For example, we have 5,000 more as sales and then we get more rewards. That's the principle. It's okay to do that. You don't need to be embarrassed to do that. Okay, that's one hour. Because you understood this concept very fast. All right, next one hour. Start. So the binary marketing and the sponsors and all. So do we have to separate these lines? Is that necessary? People are asking me. If we think straight it doesn't matter we don't have to think about the lines very healthy business i will finish up in two hours with explaining this concept okay so don't worry So one line is sponsor line, so it's going down like this. Only one line, and then the rest should be done by themselves. So that's the theory, right? But it's actually not the right calculation. So we get the balance in the two lines, both lines. 
and this part and the balanced structure and the structure without balance. I explained about this and people were so obsessed with these balance lines and people were going so far to do that. So it's, to, it's wrong too. So what is the desirable structure of business? So the list of partners, my list, what is the list that we succeed with? The list of partners, of course. Of course, I have to list up mine first, but normally it's 250 people in the, in the list and I contact all 250 people and then only five people could do that. Only two people, only 10 people could do that out of all the people, all, all 250. So I'm out of people in the list. I only have 10 left. Then it's over. However, there is a way to do endless listing. I have this list of 250 people and then I use up everything. I used out everyone and then maybe this kind of structure, this simple structure, maybe some, some more customers, maybe as a contractor, maybe full time, half time, regardless. But we, I used up my list already. Then make my partner successful by using my partner's list. So we look at partners and we encourage them to work and do business. Most of the people would not be able to do that properly. So what should I tell them? Just give me the list. I'll take care of the rest. That's the best thing. Just give me the rest. I'll make you successful. For example, there's this list that this person put out. And maybe they're very active, but sometimes they're very passive in the beginning. In that case, just give me the list. I'll take care. We go to Romania, get Crown Master, give Muzuk. They don't speak Romanian, not even Korean. I'm joking. So in Romania, there was a Korean food restaurant. So there was this restaurant that was very successful. Romania is less advanced economy than Korea is. So those people would not be willing to do atomic business, right? So they go to the restaurant. They just help the owner to do cleaning. Just keep helping them. Maybe the owner might be very sorry and talk, start talking to you. And the crown master was saying, just do the introduction and I'll take care of the rest. So the restaurant owner is now, as time goes by, is now knowing understanding the essence of atom business and now the restaurant is going really well although it's very successful business it's very tiresome it's exhausting the owner so the owner was exhausted and seeing at it seeing atomy seeing people that do atomy business it seems like they're enjoying their job and making a lot of money too. And it's enjoyable, more enjoyable than doing the restaurant business, even, even though it's very successful business. So he started learning Atomy business. So how did it start? Just introduce people, right? He didn't do anything. Crown Master, Crown Master Gibmuzu, uh, Imperial Master Gibmuzu 
didn't go there. So that's how Kim Eun Suk did this lining, right? The master just used, Imperial Master used the owner's line, owner's list to make the owner successful. And the, another person gave him the list and another person and another list, another list, on and on and on with the list of partners we have endless list if we just use only my list of 250 people the two the, the people among 250 will not take care of the business by themselves we have to do something but partners list are always there and one of the one of them has a few and another person has to has a view so it's on and on and on it's connected now i have to make this person successful make this person in the list successful and the people in in the list in another list another list so what do i have to do i have to introduce the business properly but it's really hard to do that. So the system and one of the systems is the center meetings and success academy so that people who are not good at speaking and making speeches can also present to other people about atomy, atomy business. You know, I'm old too. I'm an old generation. So, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, A, B, C, right? What is A? Advisor. sponsors, seminars, our advisors, those who explain business to me. B is for bridge. C is customer, clients. Then if I become a bridge, if I take a, assume the role of bridge only, I can be successful because we have seminars, we have sponsors that are able to introduce the business to people very well. So we introduce people to this and then B as a bridge, I don't need to be engaged. I don't need to have very good speaking skills to be successful. And as time goes by, I'll make you successful, I'll make you successful, but how can I make all these people successful? But there are some people who are very independent, independently successful. Wow, they're better than me. So until somebody comes up, comes out as more independent and more skilled than me, we do this endlessly until we find someone like that. And we have to be very diligent and we have to show other people that we are moving very diligently. But if we just tell people my vision and I'm working less than two hours, we have to work at least eight hours. Ex excluding our commuting time. The pure working hours should be eight hours. 12, 12 hours, 18 hours, when you're passionate, when you're investing money in it, 
You're very passionate. You're working so many hours. So here, at least eight hours of work is needed. Why are you not successful? Because you don't work. Write down how many hours you're working. For one entire month, you will realize. Calling customers and getting trained and explaining about the business, that's the only hours that can be said to be working hours. You, can, you cannot call business person if you're not working less than, if you're not working at least eight hours. If you're sleeping enough time, just sitting at a chair, you just commute to the commute to center and then comes back, just making some phone calls and, uh, and saying, I will complain about not being successful to Mong Sang later on if I don't get successful. So it's just unfair to only yourself if you don't work hard enough. You have to work hard. So who is wrong? Am I wrong or are you guys wrong? Are, is it my fault or is it your fault not working hard enough? Imperial Park Jung Su is also saying that if you're really passionate but struggling, I'm going to help you, she said. If you look like a troublemaker, just complaining about things and doesn't have good personality, that is why you're not getting the sponsor and getting getting support sponsors can only help you if you work hard if you work really hard and your sponsor will think wow this person is really this person has great personality maybe a lot of different people with different personalities can work really hard and be successful under this person. This person has potential. That's how you get support. Everyone, don't complain. And the week before last week, there is a minister. There is a pastor pastor seminar and I was invited to there, invited to the seminar and I made a speech. I made I gave them a lecture. And I had to tell them the hard truths. And I talked about North Korea too. South Korea and North Korea. Which country is richer? South Korea, of course. However, why is North Korea not well off? Because a person promised its people that he will make all the people wealthy. And everyone was following him. And now they ended up very poor. So if you believe somebody that is promising you that they will make you rich is poor. And the person who is promising is also poor. So he's the person to, to blame. And some North Korean defectors, although South Korea is a free democracy, free markets, free economy, they still have the mindset as a North Korean saying, 
saying that complaining about South Korean system, making an excuse that they are from North Korea. So I said to them, 99% of South Korean people would not know many things about stocks, stock markets. Why? Because they didn't study enough. I, only, I know little about stock market. I read 23 books about stock markets. And then, what was the conclusion? I will not invest in stocks. I'm not a distributor of stocks. I should be the producer of stocks. That is how I became an entrepreneur. So in South Korea, people from North Korea are making excuses. Although they're working as a, so although they are practicing past practicing a job of pastor and religion they're they're complaining right some pastors for example pastor Cho Jong Min although um, despite his old age people were attracted to him But still, many people are there because he's a good speaker. And uh, I spent uh, my one year, so, so I listened to all of the, all of his speeches, uh, like uh, that he delivered for one year. And Sometimes I would listen to the lecture, listen to the speeches up until 1 a.m. I and I called him and I listened to your uh, speeches for one year. So I gave him, I tried to give him 100k dollars, but he said my church doesn't really need any money. The place is uh, provided by uh, someone, so he doesn't need any money. But I still gave him the money, 100k dollars. That's what I did. A great preach itself can create a lot of people coming to your church. Uh, but there are also many churches who that does that don't really have a lot of people coming coming to the place coming to the places. And that's all because of uh, they are not providing a good preach. And I would say some harsh words, and many people said, uh, they are very satisfied. So I delivered some direct messages. And many people make a lot of excuses. I used to be a salesman as well. I know all the things. And some people say they uh, do, they are not good looking. And how about our Imperial Master Kim Hyun Suk? If you cannot become successful because you are not beautiful, then look at Imperial Master Kim Hyun Suk. And she said she was told that she is not the right face to sell cosmetics, but still she became an Imperial Master. And she's very cool today, right? She's working as a model in Paris. Very cool, right? Very luxury.
but she was told that you are not the right face to sell cosmetics. She was told that she was not beautiful enough to sell cosmetics, but she made it. So don't make any excuse. You are the North Korean defector. You don't uh, have anything uh, from your parents. How about me? I didn't really get anything from my parents. I gave up the inheritance because my father had a lot of loans because of his, of his failed business. So I signed the document to give up. the inheritance. So after marriage, I uh, lived in a very, very small room with my wife. And after the business failure, I also uh, moved to a very small room. And even after that failure, I woke up again and created, created atomy based on my speeches. So don't make any excuse. Don't make any excuse. I am not from good school. I uh, worked as a student in a factory. My father paid the $500 for my school, and I was not happy to see him Uh, feeling unhappy about that. So that's when I decided I will never tell him to pay my tuition. So that's when I started uh, my work in uh, factories. So I did almost everything like plastic manufacturing, all the manufacturing things. I can also drive a car lift. And I can also weld. So the forklift, I can drive the forklift. And that's what, what I can do from the student age as well. So don't blame the environment. Don't blame your parents. Don't make any excuse. You should believe that what you think can determine your future. Make no excuse. Yes or no? Those who are not very beautiful or handsome, don't make that excuse, saying that you cannot become successful because you are not beautiful or not handsome. The past Imperial Master Kang Kyung Hee, she Uh, was not very beautiful. Of course, she herself would believe that she was beautiful, but anyway, what you think is very, very important. And I believe she has, she had a very strong mind. She was very confident about becoming an imperial master. That is why she spent a very healthy 10 years later on. When we met for the first time with her, when I met uh, for the first time with her, I gave Hemohim, I gave uh, one pocket of Hemohim to her, saying that uh, we should have one more pocket, one more packet, and I have the kidney hardening and you have the cancer. So that's what I did with her. But still, she became i m p e r i a l master despite the cancer. Those who are not handsome, don't make that excuse. Those who are not tall, would you make any excuse? If your parents are poor, if your husbands are poor, husband is poor, never make that excuse. 
for your success. I will kick anyone who make those excuses. And those who are beautiful, don't really, never, never brag about that. Be humble. Work hard. Beautiful face will never get you there. Don't say that you are graduated from a very good university. I believe it is not important. Academic background is not important. Taking active actions is more important. Don't brag about what you, ha what you have. The compensation is what you can get when you face a lot of difficulties. And after uh, going through all the difficulties, if you can earn $100K every month, that is a good thing, right? That worth it. Of course, uh, the Imperial Master Park Jung-soo, she's beautiful. But she used to live in a very small room. Uh, but if she still live in that small room, then her beautiful face would not uh, be very meaningful. So she looks more beautiful because she's an Imperial Master. And I can see those ugly faces right here. So I'm telling you, you can overcome all the things. Those uh, bad students, that's okay. I am also a bad student. I studied two years more uh, because of low scores. So when my uh, friends are the third grade, I took the first grade classes. So don't make the excuse that you are not smart. But uh, on the other side, don't brag about your, uh, bra don't brag that you are smart. Don't never make any excuse. So if you're ugly, believe that you are smart, you are handsome, you are beautiful. You can do some makeup. If you have a hair loss, then you can wear a wig. Thinking that you are already an imperial master to be powerful in your mind and all the shortcomings that you have can be overcome. And if many people tell you you are ugly, don't never mind and you can keep going thinking that you are the Impel Master, then that way you can become an Impel Master. That's the end. That's all. Okay, did you get, did you get it? Can we end this session? Did you understand? Okay, that is the end of our success talk show with Chairman. Park Han Gil, Mung, uh, Mung Sang. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for the talk show. Please keep them a big hand. Thank you. Uh, so, you can find the books in Aja Mall. You can find those books here on the Ajamo website. So this is the end of the day one for August Success Academy. So we also have very great and informative session tomorrow as well. We will have day two tomorrow and you can have any seat that you want. You can come to the front. You will regret it if you, if you don't come. 
We will start from 8.50. Please be on time. Stay safe. This is the end of day one. See you tomorrow, everyone. 8.50. See you tomorrow.